Okay, one is that you have to love what you do. When I say that, I don't see myself working. In fact, I keep saying this. The first day I went to work was the last day I went to work. Because, you know, I went to Mudra as a copywriter and that's when I started writing it. And I said, man, I am here to have some fun. So for me, I get up in the morning and I say, time to kick some ass, you know. And I'm raring to go early morning. You need to love what you do. If you don't, you will get bored. Now, if you get bored, you can't be interesting. And you will never be an interesting writer or an interesting creative person. Read, watch, experience, observe. The length and breadth of your expression is the length and breadth of your experience. So the more you take in, the more you have in your reservoir to write about or to express. You can watch it with your eyes, but you have to see it with your soul. Only then will it stay inside. You have to absorb it. I mean, seeing a postcard of a lake is not as good as sitting by the lake and enjoying it. Because when you look at the postcard or a video, especially on mute, you're missing the sounds of the waves and of the little ripplet ripples. You're missing the sounds of the bunnybees which are going around in the background. You're missing the sound of the birds chirping. You're missing the sound of the little train that is going in the horizon, the little hoot that comes in. You're missing so many details. Your expression has to have detail. It can't be flat. You know, why Why do we love stuff that has got lots of detail? I mean, you go into a palace, especially the French palaces and all that. You see the kind of work on the walls. It can be just four walls, right? But look at the yeah. walls they have made. It is so replete with stuff. I mean, you can spend hours looking at it. So when you watch something, you need to take in everything. You need to dive into it. You won't enjoy yeah. it. You can stand by the beach and watch the sea. But you also have to walk into the sea to feel the water. How does the sand feel under you? How does your feet feel when the water goes away? It kind of takes the sand from under your feet. So there's so many things that you miss out. So to me, right. you know, while they have so much of stuff to watch, I don't think it is going past their eyes. And that is not going to create a rich soul. And you need soul to create. If you don't have that soul, then you don't have it. Then it's very hollow.